Hello YouTube, all you crazy people out there in YouTube land and beyond. Well, today is the day. It's new bike day. Woohoo! And I gotta say, I'm in love. I'm in love! So, just picked her up. That's why I haven't got uh, Budsy with me today. And uh, I gotta say, I definitely made Oh, the right choice! Hey! <laughs> so, uh, we went down to uh, Oxford to pick her up. And i got to say, it's been a long journey of, of, shall I have this, shall I have that, what shall I have? So much choice! And uh, it's obviously an adventure bike, because uh, we like to go on an adventure. And uh, yeah, I gotta say, I'm happy with my choice. Like I say though, it's been a long journey. Uh, mentally, oh, it's just draining. Because like I say, there's so many good bikes out there now. And it's which one, which one is for me? And uh, eventually, <laughs> I made the decision. And I gotta say, oh, listen to that engine. It was definitely the right decision. So I'd uh, set myself out uh, quite a few boxes to tick off my list of what I wanted, what I desired, what I needed. And uh, like I say, there's, there's quite a bit of choice out there of uh, really good adventure style bikes, adventure bikes which is the market that uh, I was looking at. Don't worry, the monkey, the monkey is never going anywhere. I love my monkey. That, uh, that just brings uh, different smiles, different feelings. But uh, after I went out on the wife's 800 Tiger a few weeks ago, if you haven't seen that video, go and have a look. I decided, you know what, I really do need a new big bike because the monkey does everything perfectly, <laughs> but national speed limits. So, that sent me on a journey of what shall I have, what can I get? So I'm going to pull up down the road and uh, show you what I've got. <laughs> well, i got to say, it's <laughs> absolutely beautiful. What can I say? It was definitely the right choice for me, and without further ado, I'll show you what I've got. Thank you very much for joining me down this beautiful day. Oh, look at it, it's lovely. And yes, as you can see, I've got the Triumph Tiger 900 Rally. And I've got to say, it's absolutely beautiful and I love it a bit. In the beautiful white, she's a 2021 plate. And uh, it was a journey, it really was, to get to the decision, do you know what bike is for me? And uh, we'll take it for a spin and I'll tell you why. <laughs> Gotta say, I love this bike. Bloody love it. So, what brought me? What brought me to the decision? What brought me to the decision to buy this bike? Well, like I said before, I've looked at so many. Couldn't make my mind up because there is so many good bikes out there. So I looked at the Suzuki V-Strom, uh, the new 800. I looked at the Africa Twin. The Africa Twin I really liked. I've got to say, and I had a ride of the Africa Twin and I really liked it. I liked the DTC gearbox. I thought it was uh, very efficient and worked really well. But, and it was a big but, for the spec I wanted, I just couldn't afford it. Yes, I could get a good low mileage bike, uh, but unless you have the adventure, they all come with uh, tube spoked spoke rims and <laughs> I just I can't I can't live with uh, with the anxiety of getting a puncher I always like to uh, carry a plug kit with me wherever I go and uh, 
the thought of uh, the thought of having a uh, a tube tire oh it was just too much stress and uh, to have the adventure the Africa twin adventure with the tubeless rims I was looking at another two to three grand on top of my uh, budget and that just was not going to happen so I sort of uh, went around in circles for a bit and then you know what the epiphany light just went off in my mind and it was like Lee what is the perfect bike for you what is it and you know what it's this bike and purely because I developed it it was my last project with Triumph and because I'd come back after my uh, my horrific accident that I had while being a development test rider the Tiger 900 was given to me as my my first project when I come back to work and normally uh, as a development test rider you would do 10,000 miles and they would move you on to a different model different bike and that way they would get a varied amount of feedback um, on different models from different riders but because I'd obviously had my accident and uh, I was still pretty much in recovery when I went back to work they said that uh, I could pretty much stay and um, complete the whole project for the Tiger 900 so I did do more development miles on this bike than any other test rider in Triumph um, from the very first prototype concept all the way through to what I've uh, I've thrown my leg over today so when I started looking at it you know what is the perfect bike for me well it's this one because every bit of feedback I gave on the things I didn't like and I did like they sort of molded this bike around my feedback so really this bike was designed for me that's how I see it in my mind and yes there's a couple of things that I wish had been done different in development but like I always say that's development and uh, I gotta say do you know what the end result I'm so proud of this bike there's so much of my soul blended into this machine so many stories so many journeys so many miles in total I did just over 50,000 miles in develop on this motorcycle and I bloody love it oh yeah, it's just hard makes me tingle all over so that was my deciding factor was, it was something Richie Vida says when I was watching his uh, when he got his new bike and obviously he had the same as what he had before and he said you know what the bike just fits me it suits me it is me and that was the epiphany light it was like do you know what I know what the perfect bike is for me and this is it you know and I absolutely love it so this is a 2021 model with a thousand mile on the clock that's it a thousand miles it's barely running and I'd searched high and low for, for there's, there's quite a few out there and there's quite a few low mileage bikes in all different guises and variations of makes and models especially on a 2020 and a 2021 plate I suppose we've locked down not many people used them or they bought them on a whim and never really took them out and rode them I mean who buys a bike that's a thousand mile on it and uh, sells it so uh, it came from a dealer it's got a, a few little extras on there, there's a pyramid rear hugger and uh, there's a, um, a bobbins on the centre stand I don't know why they had the bobbins but uh, yeah there's a centre stand on it as well Cool standard with heated grips and uh, <laughs> what can I say, this bike is me all over I haven't given a, a name yet, I just don't know what to call it, I'm quite good with bike names you know we've got Monkey Mo, Foxy Roxy but uh, yeah, I just don't know what to call this one. I'm sure it will come to me eventually. Or if you have any, uh, <laughs> if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments below. Oh yeah, so this bike just loves to go. So the one thing that appealed to me uh, about this bike when I saw it was it's. Uh, it's a blank canvas, obviously the Rally Pro is the top spec and uh, that pretty much comes with everything, heated seats, crash bars, 
and the fact that this one was such low mortgage at such a good price so my budget was 10k and that's what this bike came in at and uh, I think that's a lot of bike for £10,000 when you look at what they are new with a thousand mile on the clock it will definitely last me a few years and yeah like I say it's a blank canvas so I would like to fit uh, some crash bars on uh, some spotlights and uh, a few little things here and there not, uh, not want to go in overboard probably a top box but I don't want to go down the Triumph OE accessories catalogue because for what? bloody expensive ah, Triumph makes so much bloody money off their accessories it's unreal and I think there are better bargains to be had out there so that's what I'm going to be looking at I'm going to be looking at alternatives alternatives to what you could put on this bike but uh, a lot of people just tip the box when they buy it and you know spend far too much money so that's the plan and I'll be doing uh, a couple of videos on installing uh, the parts and the prices that I find them for and uh, so yeah definitely come back for those and obviously I will do an in-depth review video this isn't really a review video <laughs> more of a reveal to tell you what I got so <laughs> yeah I know who'd have thought I'd have bought a Triumph oh shocking isn't it so thank you very much for joining me today and let me uh, share my beautiful motorcycle with you all and uh, like I say anybody got any name suggestions put them in the comments below and uh, me and Budsy will catch you on the next one. Stay safe out there, stay safe! Woohoo!